Good morning, Beach Bums. Welcome back to the channel. I'm heading out today, got a spoon tied on, and looking for some bluefish. My wife, Courtney, she, uh, I've talked about it before, she loves some bluefish. I don't keep them as often as she would like. And she's been asking me for some bluefish. So <laughs> that's what I'm going after today. A lot of people don't eat bluefish, but today we're gonna hopefully catch some and cook them up. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite recipes. I did this recipe on this channel a very long time ago. It was like one of my very early videos. I think it's due to uh, do this one again because it's actually been a few years. So I'm gonna get out here and see if I can crank on a few. Um, I'll tell you about conditions. I think things are looking pretty good for us, but uh, I won't bore you anymore here. We'll walk out on the beach. So conditions have been flat calm for a long time. What a beautiful morning. Beautiful sky, I love it. But today, uh, the winds haven't picked up a lot, but we've got a south wind, and that has created some surf, which is good. Get our spoon out there, go ahead and start fishing. It's my first cast. But also, we are prefrontal. There's a front moving through that's supposed to come through later today. Bluefish are generally around this time of year. As I'm filming this, it's, uh, I think, December 7th, 6th, somewhere there. This is not a bad time of year for blues in our area. They do like to hang around our jetties. Like a lot of other fish, they tend to find structure, so I am around a little bit of a jetty system here. A lot of mullet jumping in this jetty. Climbed out on the rocks here. There's a fish, there's a fish. Did I snag a mullet or did I get a fish? Feels like head shakes. Let's see. This might be a good one. Woo! He's running. What do we got? Is that a blue? It's a blue. Target. Target fish. Nice. Man, he's so light colored. You're going to be dinner, buddy. Try not to bust my booty on the rock, so I just got my flip-flops on. They don't have good grippies. Not a bad start to the morning. Got a bluefish on the Halco Twisty Spoon. Anything shiny, these guys have some ferocious teeth. And they chase anything down, they're gonna smack it. Beautiful fish, he's real light colored. He's getting darker now that I've had him out of the water for a second. I'm gonna get this guy blood out and in the cooler on some ice and uh, he'll go home for dinner. We'll see if we can get some more. There are a ton of mullet just jumping like crazy by these jetties. Uh, I'm sure these guys are just terrorizing those mullet. Just need a few for dinner, but uh, got one of the yellow eyed demons. If you see, he's got those yellow eyes. Our bluefish here, we don't really see those big gigantic ones like you do on the Northeast coast, but I do wanna make a trip up there and catch some big ones. We'll get them on some ice. I'm skipping over a section of beach right here. It's real shallow, pretty far out, and then it drops off up here. And if you look down the beach, I don't, uh, it's, it may be hard to tell in the GoPro, I don't know, but it's, you can see where it bows in maybe. Maybe you can see that in the GoPro, I'll try to zoom in or something, but kind of bows in, like if you're just looking straight down the beach, the sand curves in always good if you're having a hard time reading the water you can look at the sand and that will also indicate to you what's going on out here oh i just saw a fish jump out there while i was explaining that but uh, a lot of times this will give you clues on where the deeper holes deeper pockets are uh, if you look for points on either side of that point generally is going to be a hole or a pocket when you see these bends in here, usually you'll know that there's some deeper water. It's just good to pay attention to that. I see a point further down. So on a day that you come out here and it's like flat calm, you don't have any waves that are communicating to you what the depth changes are, you can always look at the beach sand and see how it's shaped. It gives you a lot of clues. But anyway, I'm, I'm skipping that shallower water. 
come into this deeper pocket and I saw a fish hit the top, but it looked like it was out of range. These are the surf conditions that I love for bluefish. I'm surprised I'm not getting on a little bit more activity. They tend to like this kind of crap, but you know, if bait's not present, you're probably not gonna find your bluefish. Want to take a brief break and talk about today's video sponsor, Waterland Sunglasses. I'm wearing the Haskett style today. They are my personal favorite. If you happen to be doing some late Christmas shopping and you haven't picked up some polarized lenses for the loved one in your life that loves to spend time outdoors and on the water, Waterland is the way to go. They are a great company. They have supported the channel. They are a huge supporter. Allowed me to do a lot of things this year. And that's because of you guys, because of you guys continuing to support Waterland, Waterland continuing to support the channel. Uh, it allows us to continue to bring free content to you. So uh, if you are interested in picking up a pair of pretty sweet sunglasses, make sure you click the link in the description below. I do have a promo code BEACHBUMP15. That'll get you 15% off. Uh, they were doing a promotion there for Black Friday and the holidays. I don't know if that's still going on where you were getting 35. You might have missed out on that, but if not, we can still get you that 15%. Uh, that's on anything on their website. They do also have tons of fishing apparel. Really cool stuff. Click the link. Check those guys out. Really appreciate what they do for the channel. And just quality sunglasses for a very affordable price in comparison to what you get. I've done so much side casting this year, and these have crushed it. Check them out. Link in the description. Let's get back to fishing. I'm just going to use a little piece of shrimp on one hook here. I'm a pompano rig. This is a Bama saltwater pre-tied pompano rig. I've kind of started using some pre-tied rigs. I've gotten lazy and I like the convenience of picking them up at the store. On this one I've got a bearded Brad Salty's rig and on the last rig I've got just a single drop. This is what's left of a Salty's rig. Lost the other drop I think to a catfish that sucked it down so we uh we modified it and it, it's a single drop now we're gonna put this one close with just a piece of shrimp see if there's anything hanging tight to the beach something just picked this up i was just about to throw the spoon for a second i think we got it maybe feels like we got some weight yep He's on there. Let's see. Come here. Hey! 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 Original target species on the shrimp. Don't cut my rig here. Man, why, why aren't you guys hitting the spoon? Okay, okay. You're doing everything you can to try to cut my rig. So got a little bluefish. He's skinny, but big enough to eat. So uh, since we already got one, and this is what I came out here for, this will definitely go in the cooler. But <laughs> not not the way that I expected to pick up my second bluefish this morning. I had just cut the GoPro off because I was going to throw the spoon for a minute, which I may still do that since these guys are around. But uh, Interesting. That was on the bearded Brad rig with just a piece of shrimp. We'll get them in the cooler. Okay, come on. I wasn't rolling. Oh yeah. Feels like a decent fish. Just kind of slow, slow bite today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Feels good. Feels like this could be a good blue. All right, he's in the surf. Try to keep him low. Keep that rod tip low right here as he's coming in. Try to keep him from throwing it. There we go. There's a fat one. Heck yeah. Biggest of the day. Oh, just popped off. Biggest of the day. Not a bad blue right there. On the friggin' spoon. And got the third bluefish of the morning. 
on the spoon. I wasn't rolling. I walked over just to throw the spoon a little bit because it's uh, it's been slow. I would have thought this morning would have been a little bit more active with the conditions that we have and being prefrontal, but that's okay. This is what we came out here for. I wanted to catch some bluefish. Courtney has been asking me to cook up some bluefish and we haven't done this recipe in a long time. So I'm excited. Three should be enough. I do carve away a lot of red meat. So you don't end up with a huge yield when you do it that way with these fish. Three should be good. And this is, uh, this is the biggest one of the day. That was awesome. All in the spoon. We'll get them in the cooler. Hello. Maggie, this is what you get for being <laughs> That's okay. Your mama told you this was going to happen, right? Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> no, but oh, what's well. up, buddy? What's your name? Noah. Noah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I just had to. I was on the phone with my husband. He's like, April, hey, you have to go get Noah right now. I was like, babe, is that not weird? That's He's like, no. He's like, this is a big deal. <laughs> I walk so, here all the time. I really do. Yes, and so they're always like, did you see Bama Beach Bum? Like every day. Yeah. Whoa. Which is had to come in that's and awesome so you get out of school and everything Absolutely. that's he's awesome he's in PE right now he's like this is PE time I'm like babe this is gonna be better than that, that's right yeah you're getting some exercise and everything <laughs> I said we may we may even see him bring in a big one yeah you know yeah I mean? it's been kind of slow today I've caught a few blue fish which is what I came out here for but that's awesome but it's been kind of slow awesome. how do you want me to sign it Matthew Bam Beach Bum Bam Beach Bum okay <laughs> he was so key he's like what am I supposed to say I was like I don't have a clue Noah. just what's up I guess is good well, keep fishing, man, and I appreciate you watching. It means a lot. It helps me. It helps my family. So, thank you. All right, y'all have a good one. Have fun at school. There's one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dang, he jumped on that thing. Good gracious. Oh yeah, feels like a good freaking fish. Let's see if we can keep him, keep him pinned. Oh yeah. That was a good look. You just kind of get uh, complacent, stagnant, not really doing anything because it's so slow. And then all of a sudden, wham! One just smokes you. Man, this one's feisty. Holy cow. Good blue. Just saw him. Nice. Nice. Uh, I think that one's bigger than the last one. On the spoon. He's got, uh, he's got some parasites or something on them nice fish Woo! oh that, that hook came right out heck yeah man that's uh that's stellar he's a meaty meaty guy we're gonna get you back it's your lucky day i already got a few of your friends in the cooler get you back see you buddy thank you thank you for that got one of our blue fish here I'm gonna get it filleted out Real easy to fillet. I just cut right down the fish. Nice and easy. Come in and do the same thing on the other side. Just remove that bone. The rib cage is real thin, so it's easy to cut through. So I just come back and remove that after I remove the skin or remove the fillet from the fish. But this part right here, I try to leave a decent amount of meat on the skin. I don't want to cut all the way to the skin. I want to leave just a section of meat because there's a lot of red on this meat. So I want to leave that. See, just like that, 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 is, that is ideal. See, if you cut right next to it, you're gonna, like you would on a lot of other fish, you're gonna get that right there. And then that way you're just left with pretty much white fillet. And then I come back through and remove that bloodline, which is pretty thick. So this fish was bled. We're removing the bloodline. We're, we're trying to leave off as much red meat as possible. And that's going to make it taste so much better. 
and we're gonna eat it today. You see, I filleted it out. That's what <laughs> that's what we're gonna eat. Does it look yummy? Yeah. Here, you want to see Dad cut this one? See, I'm gonna I'm gonna fillet it. All right, go, stand over here, or like stand right here. Come stand right here so you can see. I just don't want you to be too close to the knife. Stand back a little bit. There you go. Just stand right there. I just don't want to slip up and hit you with the knife. You got to be careful. This is really sharp. Let's see. I'm just removing that skin from the fillet so that we don't eat it. There we go. Just like that. Back in the kitchen, and I've already done some prep work, so I'm gonna tell you what's going on here. We're about to prep our fish. So we've got the bluefish already cut up and filleted. I used Everglades seasoning, I already seasoned that up. And I also went ahead and cut up our ingredients. We've got some lime, I'm gonna squirt some lime juice. We've got some garlic that we've got diced up, and some butter, most important, and parsley, which we'll put this on last. I did also already start the potatoes. These are just red potatoes. I put olive oil and salt and pepper. Uh, mm -hmm. Cooked them at like 450 for like 30 minutes just to go ahead and get those nice and cooked. And we're about to prep our fish, put it on top, throw it in the oven. Should be delicious. We've done this before. It's actually been a long time. This I think this was like the fifth video. Courtney's holding the camera. I think this was like <laughs> the fifth video that I ever did. I think it was your first catch and cook. That you did too. It might have been my first catch. I, think so, yeah. I just watched it today because I couldn't remember because it's been so long since we've done this and I like went into a little bit more detail. I was really awkward on <laughs> camera. But we're gonna just go ahead and get some lime juice on the fish and then I'm gonna just rub this garlic on there as well. All right, we diced up some garlic and I'm just gonna kind of rub it in. Uh, we, we like garlic, but garlic is definitely super duper strong. So we're not gonna go too crazy with it. We're just gonna make sure we get enough on each piece. I hope it's as good as we remember. It's it's been it's been a long time since we've done this recipe. I know our taste buds may have changed. They may have. I mean, we like bluefish. We, we the last few times we've cooked bluefish, we haven't done this because this recipe is it's a little more involved. You know, there's more ingredients. You got to do a little bit more. But we we've thrown it on the grill with like some Italian and you know just whatever seasoning and. It's pretty good on the grill. Now I'm just gonna put the fish on top of the potatoes, and that's how we're gonna cook it. And of course, once I get this on here, I'm gonna throw some butter in here as well. Always important. Good. Oh yeah. Is that enough butter for you, leftover? Mm -hmm. I was just gonna use one little thing, so you can put more. If you I, have. Just I just was gonna try it. We are done. Fish is done. Got it out of the oven. Added some parsley. Look at this. Looks pretty tasty. Mmm. Looks good. We're going to get it on the plate. Parsley, just mainly for the color, but uh, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. You like the smell? Mm-hmm. Who is this? Who, who is you it? You touch her. Uh, I, I didn't touch. I didn't touch. Who is it? Pixie dust. Pixie dust. Okay, let's try it. Sorry, you want to? Do you want to try a bite of fish? Yeah. You want to try it in your ketchup? Yeah, that's right. You got a ketchup. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's see if it's yummy. That's gonna be a really ketchupy bite. Mm -hmm. I can't get it. I'll get you a spoon. Here, take a bite. Try that. Is it yummy? And you can be honest, it's no good. Okay. Neither one of us have tried it yet, so. Yeah. I'm taking a big bite. A big bite, going all in. I have faith. You gonna put it with a potato? Oh, nope, just going straight fish. I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm. It's good. It's very mild. Yeah, the I fish. Mean, I'm sure if I had a bite with like a ton of garlic, it would be stronger. But like the uh, the fish is really mild. Is is there not a lot of flavor? Like at all? I think if you get a good bite with garlic, there's a lot of flavor. But other than that, it's just it's good. I, I'm, I'm surprised. So it's not very flavorful. That's not what I said. I said that it's good. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. 
It's the, good though. The, I like you, it. you can be honest. I mean, if it's no good, if you don't like it, it's. I don't know. It's good. It's it's not one of the most flavorful recipes, I guess, that we've eaten recently. But we changed our yeah Rep repertoire stuff, the way we cook them a lot. But it's very very good still. Um, I'm surprised because there's a lot of ingredients. Mm -hmm. You know, and you'll probably disagree with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you will. Well, let's, you take a bite and let's try it. Mm -hmm. And it looks, I mean, look, it's falling apart. Thin slippery. <laughs> yeah, and once you cook it, I mean, it's super white. Come on, let me focus. Oh, there you go. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. It's super white because. Uh, yeah, I saw how dark it was. Well, yeah, when you dark. when you the fillets after you fillet it, they don't they don't look great. I'm gonna eat mine with the potato. I feel like that's how you have to eat this dish. Yeah. Is potato and everything. It's falling apart. Mm-hmm. It's super good. Well, I see what you're saying, though. It could have more flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I should have put more, like, more Everglades or. Oh, I can't even tell that you seasoned it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I felt like put a lot on. I mean, I can taste the Everglades. It's good. I mean, it's good. It's, it's very good, but yeah, I, there, yeah. there's a lot of, I mean, I will eat all of this. Like, this is very, very good. Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like there's other fish that we, the fish itself, the blue fish, because a lot of people, we've, we, we've talked about this a lot on this channel, don't like blue. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I'm not laughing. Was I doing something weird? No, I almost had to sneeze, and I was thinking how awkward would that be if I had to sneeze right uh, now while I was filming. Well, you can't laugh while you're holding the camera, because then I think, like, I have a booger on my nose or something. <laughs> <laughs> and if I do, you have, to you have to tell me that. Anyway, the fish itself is very good. Like the bluefish. Very mild, flaky. It, it, it's good. Nothing wrong with the bluefish. I ate all of mine. It was delicious. Courtney. I'm still working on it. Oh, it's, it's, it's gone. Almost you gone. You got a potato. Yeah, one tater. So it was good. Uh, we, we were giving our honest opinion on this. Um, I think I probably, I only put Everglades, and I guess I just didn't put enough. I probably could have put some salt and pepper mm -hmm. on the fish, just to give it a little more flavor. But the fish was great. The blue, the blue fish is really good. A lot of people don't like it. I don't understand why, because it tastes good. I, I am having a really hard time focusing right now. Are you monkey? Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you stay, stay bummy.